Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator and how to fill shapes with gradients. So a gradient is basically when you have one color gradually changing into another color um, or a mix of different colors that uh, change from one color to another color. So to do this, I'm gonna create a new document. So I'll click on create new and I'm going to click on web and web large and I'm just going to use this preset to create um, a document that is 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels uh, high okay um, but that's up to you what size document you create so I'll click create and I've got my workspace here ready to go so to work with gradients in Adobe Illustrator um, you're going to need the gradient panel okay so if you don't see it here in your workspace, you can click on window and then scroll down until you see gradient and then click on that and it should show up, okay? And you can move that panel around and snap it to different parts of the screen, okay? Um, now that that gradient panel is open, we can see now that it's got a tick next to it in the list here. So that's the gradient panel. Uh, and we will use that in a moment to um, fill in a shape with um, uh, different colors that gradually change from one color to another. Okay, so this can work with any type of shape that you create in Adobe Illustrator. Um, to test it out, I'm going to create a rectangle. So I'll click on the rectangle tool and I'm just gonna create a nice big rectangle here. And it's currently filled in with a white color and a black border or stroke. Okay, so I want to change the color that's inside this rectangle. Um, and I want it to be a going from one color to another color. So for example, I might want it to, to change from blue to green. All right, so I'm going to click on, I've got this shape selected already. So I can grab the selection tool and click on the shape. And I'm going to click on the fill color box here to make sure that that is selected. And then over here on the gradient panel, you can select from three different types of gradients. The first is a linear gradient. So that means a straight line. So you're, you're going to have colors that um, change from one color to another in a straight line in one direction. For example, from left to right or from top to bottom um, or from one corner to the other. There's also radial gradient, and that's when the colors change in a circular pattern um, from the center outwards. And then there's also freeform gradient, and this is only in newer versions of Adobe Illustrator. So if you have an older version of Adobe Illustrator, uh, or if you don't see uh, freeform gradient here as an option, then you might want to update your Adobe Illustrator to the latest version. So I'm gonna show you how to use each of these, and we'll start with the linear gradient. If I click on that, we'll notice straight away that this shape fill uh, changes uh, to a, a gradient. So here we can see it's changing gradually from white to black, all right? And on the gradient panel over here, we can see that gradient. We can see there's a, a gradient slider here which is showing the different colors that are in our gradient and um, how they change. So to change these colors, because by default they're usually white and black, what you can do is double click on the circles which represent where the colors are on the gradient. So if I double click on this little circle here where it's white, I can change that to another color. All right, I can click on the swatches here and I might choose uh, maybe this blue here or maybe this blue here, okay? So I've selected my color and if I go back to um, this palette here, I can refine that a little bit more so I can I can choose exactly what color I want from this bar here or by changing these sliders. So now we can see on the left side, it's blue and on the right side, it's black. So now if I wanted to change the black color to something else, again, I can double click on that little circle there and I can pick the other color that I want. So I said I was gonna make this go from blue to green. So I'm gonna select green for, for the right hand side and I might just change that a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we have a gradient that goes from blue to green. Now we can also um, move these colors on the slider a little bit. So we can, if we wanted 
more green, uh, sorry, if we wanted more blue and less green, then we could drag the blue across. All right. Or if we wanted more green and less blue, then we could drag the green across. Uh, you can also add more colors. So if you wanted to have three colors or four colors or even more, all you, can, all you do is move your mouse underneath this bar here and you should see a little plus next to the mouse cursor and you can click there and it will add another circle and you can click and uh, give that another color. Okay. So now I have three colors on this gradient slider and I can move those colors around if I like. And I can click and add more colors if I like and move those around too. Now, if I want to remove some of the colors, all I need to do is click and drag those circles off the bar. So click and drag down and it removes those colors from the gradient. So if I just want it to be blue and green again, I can get rid of this pink color by just clicking and dragging that circle away. Okay, the next thing is using the gradient tool to actually change the direction of the gradient. Okay, so that's over here on the toolbar. It's just this little rectangle here with a gradient in it. If you move your mouse over that, it should say gradient tool. So I'm gonna click on that. And now we see a line here and that represents the direction of the gradient. So where it's changing from blue to green in a straight line. You can click and if you've got the gradient tool selected, you can click and draw a new line. Uh, and that now changes the direction of the gradient. So here we can see the blue is starting in the top left corner and it's changing to green in the bottom right corner. Okay, so you can just click and drag the line if we wanted to go from top to bottom or from bottom to top or maybe from right to left or from this corner to that corner. We can draw a line out and it will just change the direction of the gradient in whichever direction we draw that line towards. Uh, you can change the length of the line as well. So if it's a very long line, then it will be a nice smooth gradient. So it will gradually change from one color to another in a nice smooth way. But if the line is really short, then that means it's going to um, change much faster from one color to another. So what, the gradient won't be as smooth. Okay. And if you want to get a straight line, you can hold down the shift key. Okay. So if I want to make sure that this gradient is going straight down, I can hold the shift key when I draw that. Okay, so now that's a linear gradient. So it's in a, a straight line in a particular direction that we choose. If I select a radial gradient, then we can see now that the gradient is a circular gradient. So it starts from center and the color changes as it moves out in a circular way. Okay, now with the gradient tool, we can change that gradient as well. So we can click and drag the line to make a circular gradient. And again, the longer the line, the smoother the gradient, the shorter the line, um, the more dramatic the gradient is changing from one color to another. Okay, so you can just click and drag to make a circular gradient um, or radial gradient wherever you like, in any direction you like, like that. And lastly, on the right hand side here, we have freeform gradient. So we've got linear gradient, radial gradient and freeform gradient. And a freeform gradient allows you to basically just add colors at any point that you like. Okay, so if I click that, I can uh, add, I can just click on my shape and add different points. And there's actually already four points here that exist. So we can see there's four different colors here that blend in with each other. All right, and I can click and drag those points to move those colors around and we can see that this gradient changes as I move those colors around. You can also delete those points. So if I click on that, I can press the delete key on my keyboard to get rid of that color. And same with this one. If I wanted to move this color off, I could just drag it off the shape altogether uh, or I can click on that point and press delete on my keyboard to move it. So now there's just two colors here. There's green, this greenish color and this um, reddish color. Okay. So with a freeform gradient, you can add points and you can move them around freely wherever you like. And you can click to add more points. So if I want another color down here, I can just click and it adds another point. 
and I can double click on that point to change its color. All right, if I wanted another color up here, uh, maybe yellow up here, I can just click there, double click on that point that I've just added and choose yellow. Okay, and then you can just click and drag to move those points around uh, however you like. Okay, so this can create really nice soft patterns, of different colors. Uh, it could be really useful if you were maybe wanting to create a sky background as well and you wanted to add things like soft white clouds, you could do that. Um, so I'll show you an example. I'll just press delete when I click on these circles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have double click on this circle here and make it uh, blue, just like the sky. And I'm going to double click on this one here and make it white. Okay. And then I'm just going to add more uh, blue. different points and let's double click on this one. I'll make it a bit whiter and I can move these blues just to make that white a little bit smaller. All right. So it could kind of look a little bit, I can change these blues to um, make them a, a bit darker if I wanted to, but it can kind of look like um, maybe there's a glare in the sky or maybe a soft white cloud something like that. We could add more if we wanted to as well. Okay, so that could be quite useful. So that's how to use the uh, gradient panel to do three different types of gradients, linear, radial, and freeform gradient, and also how to use the gradient tool as well to um, customize those gradients and change the direction of the gradients and the size of the gradients as well. If you wanted to change uh, the size of the gradients when you're using the freeform gradient tool, you can click on the point of color that you wanna change, and then you can click and drag the little circle on the outside and that can make the gradient bigger or smaller. All right, so that's how to work with gradients in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching.